Hey everyone, welcome to your full body strength fat burning workout. So today I'm using a set of 10 pound weights. Well, actually there it's 110 and two fives, but don't be confused. So grab a set of heavier weights. So whatever that means to you, sevens, tens, twelves, twenties, I don't know. And just start to warm up with me. So this workout is gonna be a circuit with our weights, focusing on our strength, working everything in the body, and it's fat burning because using load helps you burn more fat throughout the day than just straight cardio, yeah? So that's what we're focusing on today, good. We're gonna take the feet under the hips, little squats, down and up. So I'm not gonna do with like any type of particular warm up, getting the um, heart rate up today. We're just gonna warm up the muscle groups that need to be warm. Reach down and up, down and up. Four more, three more, it's two, and one. Reach the arms up overhead, we're gonna step and pull down. Using the core to draw the knee toward the chest, it's eight, six, four more, four, three, two, take the feet wide, lateral lunge, left and right. Setting the hips way back, getting a nice active stretch, in the inner thighs. Let's reach the opposite hand toward the toe. Good, eight more. Eight for six. Last four, three, two, and one. Hold it over to the left. You're gonna pivot that left toe out and the right heel up. Drop the hips forward. Breathe into this nice long stretch here. Good, pivot back. Bring the left toe toward me, right and left. Good, hold it over to the right. Pivot that right toe out, left heel up. Nice long stretch through the front side of the hip. Good, come on back. Let's take the arms up, just walk in place. One more up and down, good. Take the arms up, reach up and down. So this is just to warm up the shoulders. It's four, three, two, plant the feet. Send the palms straight down and up. Good, four more here, four, for three, two more. And one, good, I think we're nice and warm. Grab your weights. We're gonna start with one 10 pound weight and a sumo squat. So take the heels slightly in, toes slightly out. Doesn't have to be really externally rotated. And then lift the arms up overhead, but not behind you. Slowly, I'm gonna bring the hips down and the weight with me and then come on back up, yeah? It's four, three, two, and one lift for four. Three, two, and one. So we're going super slow. We'll take it a little quicker in a second, but we're just really activating the core, yeah? Four, three, knees track over the ankles. Four, three, two, one, good. Down, sending the hips back in space and up. Good, we have two more nice and slow like that. It's four, three, two, one, drawing the navel up and into the spine as you lift. Yes, one more like this. Good, we're gonna take this twice as quick, not too fast. Down for two and up for two, yeah? I like to exhale on the way down, inhale up. That might feel unnatural to you, no worries. You can reverse it if you like, inhaling down. Exhaling up, but breathing with the movement makes it a lot more natural for your body. Four more like this. You have four. It's three. Two more. Last one. 
Can we do four more? Slowing it down again for four, three, two, and one. Woo, super setting this one, eh? Three more here. I really feel this because I already did a video today with some cardio. Last two, don't let the weight go behind you at the top. You gotta really control this lift, it's not a swing. Good, one more here. Lifting up for four, three, two, and one. Bring the weight in front of you. We're gonna pick up the other weight and come into a split stance lunge. Bring your right foot forward, your left toe back. Keep that left heel off the floor and pull the left hip bone forward. So we're in a nice square stance here, testing the balance. We're gonna sit down, just a little shallow lunge, and then swing the hips, hinge the hips back, not swing, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Now you're gonna row left arm and then right arm, yeah? Let's do two more slow and right. Temple looks like this, left and right, left and right, left and right. Good, if you want, you can add a little pulse. Six more, five, last four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna take both the arms down, bend the knees, and then pull back, row, everything straightens up, yeah? Both knees straight, do that again slow. And pull, let's go up to tempo for eight, for seven, six, five, are you bending both knees and then straightening? Three, elbows behind you, two more, and one, good. We're gonna right away go to the other side, set it up. Split stance lunge, hinge back in the hips a little bit. Right arm pulls, left arm pulls. Two more slow. Tempo, here we go. If you want more, just add that little pulse. Down, 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 down. Oh yes, keep going. Good, you have two and one. Let's reach down, everything reaches, everything pulls. One more slow, bending, lifting up, eight, tempo. Up, six, for five, it's four, good, three, two more, and one, good. Set one of your tens down. Oh, we're gonna take the weight again by the ends, feet narrow under the hips. We have a little wood chop. So I want you to sit back in your squat, is the word I'm looking for. Send the weight outside your left hip. As we lift, we're gonna rotate up toward the diagonal, yeah? But we're not gonna turn all the way. Down and lift, yeah? And lift, we're gonna go slow for now. Join me whenever you feel this, because this is really a core exercise. Let's do three more. Up, it's two. So going slow like this sometimes makes it a little bit harder for the body to work, which is good. We burn more calories that way. Good, we're gonna set it up on the other side. Sitting back, swinging up and chopping. You know what, I shouldn't have said swing, think lift. I don't want us getting out of control and throwing your shoulders out of the joint, I don't want that. Nice and slow. Good. Two more. One more. Good. We're gonna add on and bring these two together. Sit back, come up overhead, little circle at the top, and down, yep. Up overhead, circle, down. Up, circle, and down. Try it, if that's too much for you, you can just go back to one side. Good, let's do two more. One more. 
Are you ready to do that circuit again? Let's do it, no rest in between. No rest for the weary, grab your other weight. Oh no, don't grab your other weight. Oh, that would be torture. Take the heels and toes out. We're gonna go into that sumo squat, lifting the arms. We go down, three, two, and one. We go up, three, two, and one. I think I need a little wider stance. I'm gonna take it wider. You should be wide enough that the knees go over past the toes here, yeah? Make sure you're taking a nice big stance because we're working everything in the legs, big muscle groups, as well as the shoulders, Ooh, the chest, the back, and the abs. Oh yeah. As you can see, I'm very sweaty, but I just ended a workout. So I'm doing another one, but hopefully you are starting to sweat a bit too and feeling this. Good. We have a few more nice and slow. Woo. Down, down, down. How's the back? Lift the chest. Don't let it come forward. So as we get tired, this starts to happen. I'll show you what I don't want. Oh no, 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 no. Lift. That's where we keep our core working. Two more slow, it's four. Oh, I feel it too. So believe it or not, I feel this a lot more in my back and my abs than I do in my legs. Good, let's take this twice as quick. We have down for two, lift up for two. And even though we're a little quicker now, don't think of swinging that way, please. Do lift it with control. Good, let's just do four more here. Four, up, 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 three, up and up. It's two, up, one more quick. You know what I'm gonna tell you, four more slow. You can do it. Four, three, slow. Just as slow coming up. Ooh-wee, <gasps> it's three. Just as slow. Believe me, these are killing me too. But oh my God, I'm gonna have so much energy the rest of the day. <sighs> One more. <sighs> oh, we did it. Grab that other weight. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna go to the opposite side I started on. That would be your left, my right. Let's set it up. <sighs> Bending the knees, little split stance one. Sit the hips back. Hey, draw that navel up and into the spine. Why don't we? Right and left, right, left, right, left. If you want, add that needle pulse. Last eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, both. Down and up, down and up. I'm just gonna get right into it because why not? We already did it, we know what it is. I like to try to make these workouts as efficient as possible because who wants to spend an hour or two hours working out? Good, come on up. Other side, let's set it up right away. Reaching, we have left, right, left, and right, good. You can add that little pulse. Last eight. It's six, four, three, two, both arms. We come down and lift. Really pull the elbows behind you and draw the shoulder blades together at the top. Last four. Yes, three, two more, and one. Good. <sighs> Set your one weight down. Starting to look like a drowned rat here. That's okay. That's what happens when we work out. Feet under hips. We're gonna wood chop, lift up, yeah? Remember this? Trying to keep the hips pointing straight front toward me, yeah? Good, four more here. Lifting up, it's three. Two more. One more. 
Good. Other side. Yep. Down. Lifting up. Woo. Oh my gosh. Why is this so hard when it's low? Because we are working all the muscles in the torso and I die for more. Oh yes. Three. So if you're not doing or not used to doing this type of weight training, two. It's awesome. One more to try it like once a week. It will just kind of kickstart the metabolism. Good. Shall we swing? Not swing, sorry. Up, around, lift. One side to the other. Little circle at the top makes me use ooh, the abs. Drawing them up and into the spine. Let's just do four more. Three, two, and one. Oh, I am so glad not to do that one a third time. So let's come on down. We're gonna come down to your mat, you have it? Or just your carpet. Oh my goodness, this bang is annoying me. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to redo it really quick. Breathe, water, well and pulling my bangs out my face. Ugh, pet peeve. All right, come on down. We're gonna roll all the way down to our back. We have two options here. You can keep the feet flat on the floor, or you can bring the knees up to a tabletop position. You want me to do this, this way so you really see me. Keeping the navel drawn up and into the spine, arms out at 90 degrees. We have a chest press straight up overhead and down. So this is a combo for your chest and also your abs. I just want you to be careful that the knees are not too far in. We really want to keep the knees right over the hips. That's where you feel the lower abs working. Okay, we're gonna add on to this. Extend the legs out and then come back down. Let's do this slow a few times. Yeah, two more slow. You don't have to do this, you can stick with just the knees up or the feet flat on the floor, but just draw the navel into the spine. Let's go tempo and down for seven. It's four, how you doing? Three, don't let the lower back come off the mat. One more, woo, nice. I want you to, oh no, I'm gonna put the weights down first and then I'm gonna rock and roll myself up. That could be a disastrous situation for you guys at home. Let's turn ourselves all the way around. We're gonna take the knees a little wider than the hips. If you were sitting on your heels, it would look like this. You gonna hover, hover it. So first, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. So the reason we want to hover, guess what? Quads work, abs work, back works. We have elbows way back, shoulders away from the ears. Look straight down once you have this. We have a little tricep kick back out and in. Out, I know that's heavy, I know. Don't worry, you're gonna thank me later when you realize that we got like a full core workout <laughs> while we were doing everything else. Good, let's do eight more. For seven, how you doing? Six, good, five, last four. Oh my Lord, three. You're doing great guys, this is killing me. And one, two, just so you know it's really hard for me as well. So you can put your hands on top of the weights here, I find that a little bit easier. It's a little hard for me with this, this double weight, so I'm gonna go like this. Step your feet back into a full plank position, yeah? Tuck the tailbone, shoulders over at the wrist. I don't want this rocking back and forth happening. Watch, left leg up. Outside, outside, tricep, extend, inside tricep, extend, yep. Out, extend, in, good. Two, <sighs> yes, yes, three, we're gonna go for six. For four, two more, so just watch that you're not doing that. Yes, one more. Ah! Good, come on down. Little rest in between. Other leg, up, out, up, in. Five more. It's four. Three. Two more. Good, come 
come on down. Ooh, we, we have one more set. Okay, don't worry, we're gonna stretch after this. Let's get this done as quickly as possible. <sighs> Grab your weights, put them in front of your chest. Yeah, and then roll down, otherwise you don't wanna kill your shoulders. Oh, I'll scooch myself in. So, if we can, let's go right into that leg extension. Knees over hips. Here we go. Out and in. So, just so you know, you can stay right here. Yeah, or here. Just keep the navel into the spine. Good. Seven more. Six. You got this. Five. Four. Four, three. Good. Two more. And one. Set your weights down. Gently rock and roll yourself all the way up. We're so close to being done. That was to no avail with these little rat tail bangs, was it? Okay, grab your weights. Knees a little wider than the hips. Sitting low, hovering. Navel to spine. Kick back and in. So we want to support the back here. We don't want to round. No, no, no. Open the heart forward, but just tuck your chin to your chest. Look straight down at the ground because you only have eight more. It's eight. For seven, can you lift the elbows one inch higher? I think you can. Four more. Three more. Two more. And one. Good. Set the weights down in front of you. We got that plank series again. Okay, here we go. Lifting up. We go out and then inside, yep. It's outside leg, arm, and inside arm, sorry. 30. Yes, three more. Good, two more. If your hips are in the air, drop them down. One more. Keep the shoulders over the wrist. Let's go right away into the other side because why not? Why waste time? We're all trying to work from home. So we don't wanna get so distracted that we just do workouts all day long. So I, I would be fine with that. One more. And cross, good. Come on down, separate your weights. Oh, good. Walk your hands forward, extended child's pose. Knees wide, toes together if you can. Walk the hands really far forward, activating the shoulders by pressing down through the fingertips. Good, bring the hands back a couple inches. Roll forward. We're gonna drop the belly, shine the heart forward, look up. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, drop. Exhale, round the spine. One more, drop it open the chest. Exhale. Good, good, good. Bring the knees under the hips. Step your right foot forward. Oh, send the left hip bone forward, right hip bone back. Good. Tuck the toes under in the back. Begin to straighten the knee off the mat and reach up. Good, good, good. Bring the hands back down to the thighs. Bend the knee, place it on the floor. Just gonna gently step back and switch sides here. Good. So nice and long runner's lunge forward. Driving the right hip bone forward, left hip bone back in space. Tuck the back toes. Send the knee off the mat and reach. Good, place the hands on the thighs. We're gonna gently and slowly stand up. If you're dizzy at all, take a second to get off the floor. Good, send your left arm across, soften the knees. Hook the right elbow underneath. Now drop that right shoulder. Ah, oh, feels so good on the shoulders. And release, other side. Just drop that left shoulder down. Good, open the hands, bring the palms behind the back, interlace the fingers. Begin to press the palms together so you can open the chest. I'm gonna face you again. Bring the toes together. 
Let's see if we can hinge forward. Get a little hamstring stretch here. Let the hands come high up behind the back. Breathe into this stretch. Release the hands, shake the head no, shake the head yes. Bend the knees, tuck the chin to the chest, roll all the way up. Okay, I'm dripping with sweat. I hope you are too. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. I do more every day, different types. And please like and or subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more.